Hello friends and welcome to Yoga with me, Liel Cherry. Today I've got for you a non-stop flow. So a lot of movements, less cues, a lot of breathing. Prepare to get sweaty and let's have fun. Let's begin today standing in the front of the mat, feet to touch, heels slightly apart. Ground down through your feet, slightly tuck your tailbone, lengthen out of your crown and go ahead and plug the hands right into your heartbeat. Close your eyes and take this moment to set an intention for your practice. Now all together take a huge cleansing in breath in through your nose, connecting into the present moment and big open mouth exhale, let go of all the things that doesn't serve you for your practice. <sighs> Gently blink your eyes to open, float the arms alongside your body and let's begin. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, bring the gaze upward, connect your palms, and relax your shoulders, keep tucking the tailbone and pull your belly in and up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. Inhale, circle the arms up, energize your fingertips, bring the gaze skyward. Exhale, hands back to your heartbeat. Inhale, reach the arms up. And with the exhale, we're gonna find a slight back bend. Press the pelvis forward, lean back, open the elbows wide and lift your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, let's one dive into forward fold, Uttanasana. Flat, long spine, bring the fingertips to touch the earth. Drop your head, let go of your neck. Pulling the belly in and up. And find a few gentle movements here. As it's first, forward fold. Bending one knee, pressing the opposite heel to the earth. Now inhale, find a halfway to lengthen your spine, gaze ahead of you. Exhale, fold forward, bow over your legs. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, bring the gaze up. Exhale, baby back bend, lean back, lift your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of your mat. Align the right knee over your right ankle. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Let's sweep the arms up. And with the exhale, we're gonna sink into the lunge. Square the hips and chest to the front. Take a big breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, plug your hands down. Step the right foot to the back of your mat. Hinge forward. Lower halfway or all the way into Chaturanga push-up. Inhale into upward facing dog. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck your toes. Send your seat bones high and up to the sky. Downward facing. Inhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Exhale, sink into the lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up into high crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms. Shift the arms back behind you, lift your heart. Inhale into warrior three with airplane arms. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up, connect your palms, look up. Exhale, find a back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of your mouth. Sink into your lunge. Breathe in, sweep the arms up, high crescent lunge. Tuck your tailbone, pull your belly in and up. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa lower chaturanga, halfway or all the way. Up dog or cobra yogi choice as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the gaze forward. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Sink into your lunge. High crescent lunge as you breathe in, coming up. Exhale, airplane arms. Hinge forward, send the arms back behind you. Gather your core. Inhale, come into warrior three with airplane arms. And exhale, bring the right foot to meet your left and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, find a back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
exhales one dive forward fold halfway lengthen inhale exhale left foot to the back of your mat low lunge inhale high crescent exhale vinyasa hands down step back lower your chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog inhale look up exhale right foot in between the hands sink to the lunge breathe in sweep the arms up come up exhale airplane the arms now use your core strength find momentum inhale warrior three with crescent uh, with airplane arms and exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale sweep the arms up high look up exhale back bend maybe go a little bit deeper inhale reach the arms up exhale bow over your legs halfway lengthen inhale exhale right leg to the back of your mat breathe in high crescent lunge energize your fingertips strong powerful legs exhale vinyasa hands down lower chaturanga squeeze the ribs with your elbows inhale upward facing exhale downward facing as you breathe in bring the gaze forward and exhale step your left foot in between the hands high crescent plunge take a glorious in breath and with the exhale airplane your arms find momentum inhale press into water three with airplane arms and exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale sweep the arms up high exhale find a back bend inhale reach the arms up high exhale plug the hands into your heart take one cleansing in breath open mouth let it out inhale chair pose bend your knees grace the floor with your fingertips sink the hips slow and begin to sweep the arms to the sky biceps by your ears slightly turn the pinkies in and shift the weight to your heels pull your belly in and up really engaging your abdominal core squeeze the inner thighs find a smile and i'm gonna hold here for three breaths say good morning to your quads or hello <laughs> take a breath in and exhale fold forward bow over your legs inhale halfway to lengthen exhale again fold forward uttanasana one more time inhale chair pose bend the knees sink the hips slow sweep the arms up high good exhale fold forward halfway lengthen inhale exhale step or float back chaturanga inhale into up dog exhale downward facing dog sweep the right heel up to the sky as you're breathing exhale step it through low lunge into warrior one pivot the left foot 45 degree angle and ground through your heel inhale let's come up reaching the arms up to the sky sinking into your lunge squaring the hips and chest to the front and right away exhale vinyasa hands down step back lower chaturanga up dog inhale down dog exhale inhale sweep the left heel up exhale step it through warrior one as you breathe in reach the arms up sink into your lunge exhale vinyasa hands down lower chaturanga up dog inhale downward facing dog exhale now tuck the chin to your chest come high on your toes begin to ripple forward into plank pose shoulders over your wrist bring the feet to touch shift the pivot the heels to the right inhale lift arm gonna come up side plank big breath in exhale back to plank now let's take it to the opposite side heels to the left right arm reaches up full breath in exhale back to plank 
take your vinyasa inhale into upward facing exhale downward facing inhale set the gaze exhale step or float the feet in between your hands halfway lengthen as you breathe in fold forward as you breathe out inhale chair pose utkatasana option one to hold your utkatasana or maybe try to come into crow pose plant your hands tuck the knees underneath the armpits lift the seat bones begin to hinge the weight forward maybe lift one foot maybe the other one try to hold breathe smile we're here for two more breaths exhale fold forward or jump back into vinyasa chaturanga up dog as you inhale and down dog exhale inhale right heel reaches up exhale step through low lunge warrior one inhale come up exhale let's open up into warrior two strong powerful warrior engage the upper arms maintain a 90 degree bend in your right knee inhale reverse warrior keep pressing the right knee forward bring the gaze up exhale extended side angle right elbow to your right thigh opposite arm to the sky and then spiral your heart all the way upward inhale reverse warrior with the exhale option into side angle or half moon reach the fingertips forward place them down to the earth find momentum and come up into a balance inhale back into reverse warrior exhale your variation half moon or side angle inhale reverse warrior exhale half moon or side angle good if you're in side angle make your way into half moon and then sprinkle the left fingertips down square the hips to the front of your mat and we're gonna move into standing split send the left heel a little bit higher and begin to fold over your right leg if you need more challenge you can grab your right ankle drop your head now find a halfway to lengthen ground your hand and we will try to find a few hops into a headstand come high on your right toes shift the weight forward so you align the shoulders right over the ribs your index finger point forward slightly bend that right knee and find a hop kicking that right heel into your bum so a few more just like that and if you're flipping over just get up and try again <laughs> so let's find one more hop and then take your vinyasa when you're ready or again flip over <laughs> Whoa. all right so vinyasa Whoop. up dog as you inhale down dog exhale inhale sweep the left heel up exhale step it through warrior one inhale come up exhale open up warrior two front heel to your back arch strong arms inhale reverse warrior lean back stretching the side body exhale extended side angle inhale back into reverse warrior exhale extended side angle or half moon yoga choice move slow with your breath Keep everything strong and engaged. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, half moon or extended angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon or extended angle. Now, if you are in extended angle, begin to make your way into a half moon. Sprinkle the right fingertips down. 
square the hips to the front and we're gonna make our way into standing split sending the right heel a little bit higher and begin to fold over your left leg for more challenge grab the left ankle now bring the hands in front of you ground the hands we're gonna find another few hops into a handstand. So come high on your left toes, align the shoulders right over the wrist, pressing through all ten knuckles, slightly bending that left knee and find a hop. Bending and find a hop. Let's do two more hops. And when you're ready, take your vinyasa. <laughs> Upward facing dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Come on your toes, tuck the chin to your chest, ripple forward into plank pose. Holding your plank. Hey! <laughs> and then we're gonna come down into forearm plank. And then back to plank. Back to forearm plank. And just keep moving back to plank and forearm plank. Connect to the breath and with smile, just keep moving. Let's do two more. Last one. Hold, feet to touch, pivot the heels to the right, left arm reaches up, side plank. Catch up with your breath here. Take a full lotus in breath. And deep long exhale. Back to plank. And I switch the arms. Lower down to forearm plank. And press up to plank. And again, forearm plank. Press back to plank. And just keep moving. Remember to smile, to breathe deeply. Let's do five more. Three. Two. Last one. Press back to plank. Pause. Feet to touch. Pivot the heels to the left. And right arm reaches up as you inhale. Take a moment here to catch up with your breath. Bring the right hand back down. Find your vinyasa. Lower chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale. And down dog, exhale. Full glorious in breath in through your nose. And a big open mouth, exhale, side out. One more just like that. Fill up your lungs. And just open mouth, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, shift the gaze forward. And exhale, gently walk the feet in between the hands. Bend the knees and come all the way down to lie on your back. Into figure four, place the left ankle on top of your right knee. You can lace the fingertips below your right knee or behind your right thigh. Now I'm pulling the left knee away from you and the right knee toward you. So I'm feeling a nice stretch in the outer left hip. Close the eyes and now keep deepening your breath. You take a full breath in, full breath out. Extend the right leg long out in front of you. Hug the left knee into your chest. Give it a nice squeeze as you breathe in. And with the exhale, guide the knee over your right side body into supine twist. Bring the gaze over your left shoulder and open up your left arm to the side. Make sure that you anchoring both of your shoulder blades deep into the mat. Full breath in. And a full breath out. 
hug both of the knees back into your chest. Slightly rock side to side, reset your back. Now let's bring the right ankle on top of your left knee, the same figure four, left chin bone parallel to the mat, and find exactly the same variation as we did on the other side. And this time we're pushing the right knee away and pulling the left knee toward you. Softening the muscles in your face, melting the shoulders deep into the mouth and just focusing on the breath. Full glorious breath in, deep long exhalation. Extend the left leg long out in front of you, hug the right knee into your chest, take a nice in breath and with the exhale, guide the right knee over your left side body. Bring the gaze over the right shoulder and open up your right arm to the side. Again, ground both of the shoulder blades deep into the mat. And send your breath to the place where you can feel the most sensation right now. One more full cycle of breath. Hug the knees back into your chest. And gently rock side to side, neutralize your spine. Now let's take two rounds of back bends, bridge pose. Place the feet down, reach to touch your heels with the fingertips. On the inhalation, begin to lift the hips up to the sky, shimmy, shimmy through your shoulder blades. Relax the glute muscles and magnetize the inner thighs toward each other. Chin away from your chest. Pressing the shoulders actively into the mat and trying to lift the hips a little bit higher. Full cycle of breath. And then gently begin to roll down one vertebra at a time, tailbone coming very last. Knock your knees toward each other and stay here for one breath. Now, second round, you can repeat the bridge pose or if you're willing to go a little bit deeper into wheel pose, hands in line with your ears, fingertips towards your shoulders. On the inhale, press to your hands and feet, come halfway to your crown and then press again into a full bridge, a full wheel. And just hang here by connecting to your breath. One more cycle of breath. And then gently lower down, hug the knees into your chest. Again, gently rock side to side. Let's find a happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Open up the knees outside of your rib cage. And just like a happy baby with a big smile on your face, swaying side to side. Maybe stretching the legs one by one maybe both and then let's hug the knees back into the chest for a final squeeze give yourself big hug big kiss fill up with the biggest breath of your practice and on the exhale let's make our way into final resting pose shavasana extend the legs long out in front of you arms alongside your body palms facing up to the sky for receiving all that goodness from our practice. Just relax, give yourself that permission, just relax and let go for one minute. You deserve that, your body deserves that. We always, all day, every day on the go, 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 go. So please allow yourself, give yourself this permission just to melt and not to do nothing, just relax. Keep softening the muscles on your face, relaxing the jaw. And just bringing awareness to your chest. How is your chest rising with each inhalation and falling with each exhalation?
gently begin to bring your awareness back to your body. Find a gentle movement in your toes, energize your fingertips. Sweep the arms overhead, let's take a full body stretch. And then gently hug the knees into your chest. Roll yourself to your favorite side, left the right, fetal position. And then just begin to make your way all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Plug the hands to your heart. Find your heart pumping for you. And as always, let's end this practice with a few words of gratitude. Gratitude for yourself, for showing up for yourself, for moving your body, for breathing, for healthy you, for this beautiful day, for the practice of yoga, for everything that you want. And then plug the hands to your third eye center of your intuition, connecting your head with your heart. Thank you, yogis, for joining me, for sharing your beautiful energy and practice. The love and the divine in me sees and honor the love and the divine in each and every one of you. I wish you a wonderful the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, friends, for uh, joining me today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you love the chat with your friends. And I really love reading your lovely comments. So put your comments in the section below and I will see you really soon. Namaste.